but we made an entire thing. And I forgot the intro. <laughs> we didn't even change scenes. That's <sighs> welcome back. We were <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna re-record this. That's fuck it. We could. Zeke, what do you think? Re-record it? No, nah, man. Okay, just let it ride. Just let it ride. Let it ride, dude. Let it ride. I love the mistakes too. The, the... For those who, who can't catch it live, it's nice, nice little peek at uh, shit that can go wrong. It's true. Yeah. 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 It's true. Uh, where should we start with the video games we have played? I think we all played Cult of the Lamp. That might be a trio yep. attack. Should we start there? Sure. Okay. Who wants to go first? Who would like to discuss <laughs> Cult of the Lamb first? I actually have not finished it. I think I might be the... Uh, oh. Which is fine. I don't care about spoiler. I, I, it's fine. Um, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. We can discuss the all the way to the end game. But uh, I think I, both I of mean, you finished it. All right. The game. The game story is not like super in depth. Like it's 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 like spoiling Isaac, Finding of Isaac. Like mm, yeah. I, I you could spoil some some secrets, I guess, uh, secret locations of of things or whatever. But like sure, it's not. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, uh, Co, I volunteer you to go. Co, you have been volunteered uh, by the Zeke delegation. Please discuss Cult of the Lamb in, let's say, I don't know, five minutes. I yield my time okay. to the gentleman from the Carolinas. Accepted. All right. So, uh, Cult of the <laughs> Lamb. Um, I actually don't have a huge amount to say about it. Um, because, yeah. like, it's it's Cult of the Lamb is a good example. It's kind of like Hades where it takes a tried and true premise of the roguelite. It puts its own kind of fun spin on it with the, the art and the music and the, um, the very cool kind of cult management metagame. And then it does what it does well. So I, I feel that, that in many ways it kind of emulates Hades in that regard. It's just, it's just another fun take. It's like different books in a science fiction genre. It's, they're, they're like, they're in the same genre. They're even similar in a lot of ways, but at the same time, they each have their own flair and and flavor that make it really good. Both Lamb, although had some bugs, and yeah, I heard about them. Oh man, I feel so bad for them with the Twitch integration because I mean, it was such a cool idea that just completely fell apart technically. Unfortunately, um, I, I yeah, just really not cool. Um, but the game itself was a lot of fun. I played it beginning to end. I actually had multiple playthroughs. Um, with my with my beta runs. The cult management mechanic kind of scratched my my itch. I had like I, I I was one of those streamers that did like decorations and paths and like did the whole nine yards with that. It was super fun. And uh yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was a very solid game, even with the bugs, which were not only limited to the Twitch integration. There were some other pretty big bugs in the game. Um, but overall it was a lot of fun. It was great and I had a good time with it. Uh were are they all have they been patched? Did you run into them multiple no. times? Oh, they have not. I, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if they've been patched out, but there there are slash were some some big bugs in the game. Yeah, for those saying they fixed the Twitch app, cool. Way too late. Uh, it doesn't. Really I didn't matter. have any issues with um, my Twitch app when I played it. Yeah, I think the, it might the, have been the a big streamer size big thing, thing, maybe. Yes, like, the big yeah. in the beta we knew about the problems, and then through for through like the entire first week. Here's here's the thing, and we had this discussion during the stream. If you're going to have a Twitch application, the entire purpose of that twitch application is being able to be there for when the game is biggest on twitch like yeah. that's the whole point you want it to be an addendum to your experience not a inhibitor to a good time and unfortunately that's exactly what the cult of lamb twitch app was is it was a really cool idea and when it worked i'd say between 40 and 50 percent of the time it was really cool but then it would crash it would not work it would bug out it would actually have you like the app would make you re Start your game i mean it was just wow i didn't you know it went down it went yeah. up there were messages that were confusing at points like the very first message they put up didn't even say the the message was about the app so it was just like the message was just across the screen of every viewer and it said like we're sorry to say that our servers are not working properly and we're doing everything we can <laughs> so all these people in chat were like what's wrong with twitch what's going on and it's it was it, it was just so boneheadedly right? yeah it was it was, was this very last very weekend important when this was i it was, uh, it was the day it was the day it came out the, the day after it came out um, huh, I didn't encounter any of that. Yeah, maybe oh, yeah. I, it was I, a complete mess. I'm not sure if it was if it was streamer size or how many people because like I I had no problems before like in early release. Like before it came out to the to the public, so everyone could do it. Like 
a few like i'm sure you and a few of us other ones got like early access from devolver themselves yeah. you got to play it a day early yeah, yeah. um that worked it worked worked just fine um and then once it released to the public then it was just it yeah. it, it was a matter of <clears throat> excuse me um it took forever sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't you'd have to like roll the dice like all right, here we go. We're going to do the raffle off for the follower and see if it hangs up. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes after 10 minutes of waiting, it would, it would work. Like you would get a new follower. Huh. Um, and I would even, I would sit there patiently, like it's going to work. It's going to work. And then it would work. And then you'd sit there for like the next time and go, I think it's, I think it broke. And then you come back and that, <laughs> that person, like you would do another raffle and it would draw right away, and it would be the person from the last raffle. You're like, God damn it! I already had a follower <laughs> and you with couldn't, that name. You couldn't back out of it, so then you were just yeah. stuck with two people with the same name. It was, it was yeah. just, yeah. And and people saying it's a load issue. Of course, it was a load issue. But I mean, when you hit the thing is, is they had all these problems in the beta. Like when we tried the app in the beta like a week earlier, it we completely destroyed it so bad to the point where it's like not not only did it not work. If you tried to connect the app, it said we couldn't couldn't even contact the app. We have no idea what's going on. So it's the, and, and that's what I'm talking about. If if you're going to do with Twitch integration, like uh, it doesn't even it, it is more important that it works than it is to have cool and fancy integration. So that's like the big problem. Um, yeah. And uh, it, it 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 was really again really unfortunate that it was it was so technically unready in that regard because the designers nailed it. Like the idea behind the app was awesome, I, but technically it was just a mess. It's, it's someone that. Didn't run into any of those issues. I had a great time with the Twitch extension. Yeah. Which it, was, when it worked, it was awesome. release? Uh, I played, uh, the majority of the time I played was in beta. And I remember the okay. first day that we had access, everyone in chat was like, yeah, it wasn't working for Co. I was like, oh, okay, we'll try it. And I turned it on and it worked. Uh, it was it was fine-ish. I, I had a couple times where I was like, yeah, it's not popping up and, and not saying it. Saying that you know the poll is running, but people can't join or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I had very little issues with it. Um, By the way, okay. So somebody said, thankfully, the majority of people aren't streamers and don't care about that feature. That's true. Correct. That's totally valid. But you also have to consider one other thing. There are literally tens of thousands of people that are never going to play this game and are only going to experience this game from watching streamers play it. True. And those people are absolutely being affected by this, 100%. And the argument there is, well, why does the company care? It's not giving the money. This is the reputation of their company. This is the reputation of their product. This is a reputation of, you know, if somebody is interested in getting it, seeing how it performs. So there, there are lots and lots of factors when you're designing something literally designed to have tens of thousands of eyes on it and putting that out into the public with your name signed off on it. So... It absolutely it doesn't affect single players and, and normal that kind of stuff but it, it does affect a whole lot of people yeah. just you know that in mind too that's the pr response there my response is this is a show about streaming so go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly we are streamers so we're gonna talk about yeah. like shit that affects us yeah um and that's why uh we're recommended followers and and streamers there for go that don't get clicked on Zeke right there. That that's yeah. <laughs> if you don't like what we say, there's turtles you can go fucking watch, get fed, <laughs> fed lettuce, all that shit. Plenty of channels out there. I tried, Chad. I tried. You tried. You tried. Yeah. Right. You gotta uh, give them both sides. No, my my experience with it, the the, the somebody it's, goes it's, link the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch it speaks to the turtles. quality of uh, uh it speaks to the quality of the game that I was willing to kind of suffer through the the delays of the extension and the overloaded servers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um I still had like a blast playing this game. Uh even even though like like at one point I was just like, all right, we're just going to do a raffle in chat and I'll name I'll I'll do it manually. Their name won't appear over their head, but what are you going to do? Um but the game the game in and of itself is really really fun. Um there are sure. like it was it was buggy it was more buggy than i think it should have been i don't know like if i can say that since i'm not a dev but like it, there was a lot of like uh save and reloads like thankfully thankfully like to whoever's credit i don't know 
think that happened uh, once but to me. Whoever programmed the game that you could like outside of a dungeon, you could save it pre- or you could you could uh open the menu and save it pretty much at any time. Yeah. That was very nice to not lose like, you know, half an hour progress because the game hung up or 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 something like that. There was there was quite a few times. Like I want to say like while I was streaming it, there was like at least half a dozen seven eight times that the game i had to reload the game uh for it to continue to i had work. to do it all the time because my town kept bugging. yeah jeez yeah 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 uh buildings disappearing uh things not showing up uh going Arms into like places harvested. and soft locking and in like i walked into the temple and i just like tried to load the temple and then just hung up and i'm like fuck that sucked but thankfully Damn. i could still like open the menu press save and then reload the game so i didn't lose any progress which was also you know, very nice you know <laughs> backup yeah important to mention that there were also bugs that some people were getting that were completely impeding progress um specifically some quests would would not adequately uh flag that they were completed so you would get a barrier in front of going into the combat area oh. and it would just never go away because the game would have thought that you had something to do that you'd already completed and it just so like you, they literally had to restart their saves. So there, there are part of the ex- were some issues for sure. Part of the extension was that uh, caused that problem too. There's a there's a help hinder function that that never worked while I was streaming it. Uh, they eventually like we're gonna take that function away. We're gonna take it down for now while we look at it and fucking figure it out. Um, but when it was up, every once in a while it would be like, all right, let's go to the dungeon. Your chat's deciding what are they decide what is going on here. Yeah. Ooh. And they had like a black, you know, that black smoke barrier that it was oh. just like, wait for your chat yeah. to tell you help or hinder. I'm just like, it's the, the, they're looking at their screen. I'm like, what's going on, chat? They're like, it's not going away. Like the help or hinder thing is not going away. It's staying on the it's, screen. Yeah. That happened to us too. Whatever. So that was another reload, um, you know, save, reload, whatever. Um, but <laughs> even with all that, even with all that, I, this is a great fucking game. Like I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I ended up yep. um, my 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 viewership tanked after the first couple of days um, mm. because it was just so fucking saturated. Um, so like, and you know, I, I can take a hit if I'm really enjoying the game, but this was a pretty big hit. Like everybody was just like, "We don't want to watch this shit no more." I was like, "Note taken, got it." <laughs> so I ended up finishing it off stream, um, and also with the bugs and stuff, it it, it just became like kind of a, like. You know, I didn't want to hassle with it, you know, gamble on if it was going to work or not, uh, yeah. the extension at least. Um, but I, I did end up finishing it on my own. I ended up playing it all the way through. Um, I ended up getting, let me see. Uh, all told, I ended up getting 30 of 37 achievements. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of into it. So I'm thinking about going back and cleaning up some of those. Like some of them are like uh, damage lists on, a, on the bosses and you know, those kind of achievements, stuff like that, like little challenges. Sure. Um, but you know, I, I played the game pretty thoroughly. Uh, I will say the, like, if you kind of max out shit, the end game becomes kind of like a chore, Yeah. but you can, you can honestly, like <laughs> if, as long as you have, uh, enough followers to open all the doors you need, then like everything else is just like academic, you know, it's just, don't need to worry about it really anymore. Yeah. Um, and there's certain, there's certain like power ups that you can get that kind of make all like uh, some of the tedium, like kind of take a backseat. Like if you're, if your uh, uh, cult is hungry, there's that, the, the feed your cult like thing that you can do that you don't need food for. You just need bones or whatever. Rituals. That thing easy, like makes, makes that whole like, Oh, you're starving. Here's some bones. <laughs> be, be fed, be well. All right, I'm gonna go to the dungeon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I ended up I ended up beating it. Uh, I had I had a I had trouble with like I think the third bishop. That motherfucker was a bitch. Is that the um, spider bishop? Nope. Oh, the one, one before right that. before that. Okay. Yeah, spider the spider one. Spider is where I tapped out. I had yeah, a, the one I had with the the, the he had a lot of projectiles being fired all at once, like all over, and it was really really hard to avoid them and shit like that. So I had a lot of trouble with that one. But that that was the only one that I had like a frustrating time with the rest of them including like the final encounter um final encounter was was difficult but it wasn't like undoable you know um and it's like the music is fantastic i like the look of it 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 
definitely, definitely reminds one of Isaac, uh, Binding of Isaac, if you've played Isaac, uh, right down to the their fascination with poop. Poop plays a huge role in this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, from feeding your, your, uh, your followers uh, bowls of poop yep. to fertilizing your crops to, like, cleaning up after people who, like, like meals that make them poop instantly and you got to go clean it up or, you know, have someone else clean it up for you or whatever. Um, and it, the sense of humor in the game is great. Yeah. Uh, I remember I was crying though. laughing when, uh, yeah. So it's, 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 it's the whole game's like, pretty I remember, dark. Yeah. yeah. I remember when this fad came up, came along the, uh, I called it like the cutesy death squad, which was yes. like all of the like rotten, awful things, but made cutesy. Um, and that's like a huge, huge sweep. Like that's why Hot Topic was so popular for so long. <laughs> um, but like the sense of humor in it is is darker than that too. Where your follower will come up to you like, "Hey, I have a mission for you. Feed that guy some poop." And you're like, "Okay, I'll feed him some poop." He comes back he's like, "Feed him another one." And you're like, "Okay." It's like, "How about one more?" It's so funny. Still, and it's like, "Oh, so you after after feeding him like I don't know if it was two or three bowls of poop." And he's like, "You know what else would be funny?" put that same guy in prison you're like okay and he's like oh my god i was rolling the, the followers like ah that was so hilarious how about for our next trick we kill him yeah we like, murder him that's it always ends in murder <laughs> sounds good sounds good but there are rituals that make that kind of you know kind of moot uh you don't need to worry about it really because there's you can definitely bring people back and buy a ritual and shit like that so like Oh, you can do it that via a ritual. Okay. Very funny. I didn't know that. Yeah. If you pick it, if you don't, if yeah, you don't pick it, then you I didn't you pick can't. that. Yeah. So my chat just brought everyone back. Like no yeah, one just nice to them. No uh, one died. By the way, just game. just because I, I can't I can't <laughs> not address this. Okay. Um somebody says, Why does a game that looks like shit graphically have bugs? Okay, so let's start let's start let's start at the beginning here. First of all, um, I think many of us <laughs> love how this game looks. I think it's kind of an, just like Zeke was saying, it's a kind of endearing looking thing. But second of all, um that statement alone shows a fundamental foundational a misunderstanding about video games, how they're made and and what they are. The the graphics and how a game looks has absolutely nothing with the bugs that are that are in the game. So that's that's a completely different thing. Completely different. Like a game could be made of stick figures and could be buggy as hell. It has nothing to do with it. And then um, the follow up was: it looks like a pile of crap. It shouldn't have bugs. Period. Again, um, <laughs> see everything we just said. It has. It has. Do I zero do, to do with that? Do we give um, a bad any, cop answer to this guy, or does? <laughs> yeah, do go we... ahead. Yeah, that, that's... I, just give his name. I'll ban him. That's that's. <laughs> oh no, that's fine. <laughs> Put him on the group ban list. Yeah, we'll put him on the group, the shared ban list. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um. <laughs> no, it's 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 a it's a Paper Mario. Like, if you don't like the the stylistic like like two uh, D cutout style of the game, then you're that, that's fine. Hey, it's hey, not aesthetically Zeke, pleasing to you. Zeke, we should what? we we should feed that guy poop. That'd be great. Let's, yeah, feed let's, poop. Poop. let's, let's make a bowl of poop and feed it to him. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, let's get <laughs> Zeke. And then and then Co Co, you should kill him. <laughs> I mean, if that's what Dark God wants. <laughs> that's what he crazy wants. not Dark to, God right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, my experience seems pretty different than y'all's. I also didn't finish the game. I stopped on the fourth boss. Um, not because okay. it was bad or anything. I just stopped. Um, however, going back to the extension, which uh, shout out to the people in chat that don't want to hear us talk about that anymore. I straight up <laughs> broke my game because of the extension. Because I was like, how does this extension? Let's open up the settings to these. Uh, okay, let's the turn off setting, the the, uh, the time limit on this extension. Okay. Let's just have chat throw as many channel points <laughs> into the game as they want. About oh thirty thousand channel points later, uh, I had around six hundred wood and six hundred stone and uh, ah. thirty or forty <laughs> followers. And yeah, straight up broke the game in that regard uh yep. i used the cheat engine on it and and it was uh it was pretty funny because i just that was pre-release too that was i didn't even have access to like tier three and tier four i think i had like 25 followers when i stopped before that and yeah i i enjoyed that aspect of it because 
you could just turn off the the rate at which people can contribute to the totem and it just feeds yeah. you food and stone and that, all the resources to the game which is great maybe we should we should talk about like what the what the extension because the extension like it was ambitious the extension was very ambitious and if it worked right it would be fucking it, it would have been oh, like, that was great yeah i didn't have it would have been like was great. the best extension i've ever worked with if everything worked properly every time like i got to experience it working properly like each aspect of it working properly from time to time but never all at once which i would i desperately wanted to to see but maybe it's fixed now i don't know but yeah. the there there was like i think three main things that the extension did one it had a follower raffle uh that uh popped up an extension on your channel you can join the cult enter your name and it will draw from those names every time you get a new follower to your cult the other one was the help hinder function which would pop up from, periodically from time to time um oh. which would say do you want to you know help or hinder the i don't i, I didn't look at it personally but did it have like what it would do i think it had multiple choices just, there was multiple options yeah. did it just but also to okay, add, okay, one okay, of the okay. coolest parts is with the twitch thing it would not only pick someone randomly from chat they could then design their own person yeah and then it would permanently have yes. their name above their head in the game, which was so cool. So you, you you could literally have a little cult of your of your watchers. It was fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Um. And when it when it worked, it went it went pretty quickly. Like it would fill up fill up the raffle as long as you you could let the raffle go as long as you wanted. You uh, as a streamer, you end the raffle, um, and then it draws a, it draws a random name from those people who entered, and they have like a choice of head, body, and an accent, uh, for their character. Um, I mean, uh, oh, head, excuse me, head color. Yeah, color. Color for the head and then the accent. Uh, if they, if you want, like, you know, eyebrows or an upside down cross or something like that. And the choices were pretty, li like, there wasn't a million choices. So it went pretty quickly. And it was really nice when people could do that. Yeah. Um, and then the help hinder function was the, was the second one. And um, the third one is the totem. Um, and the totem is... Uh, the premise of it is you can use channel points or not. You can turn those off, but you can use channel points to uh, put towards the the cult's totem. Now, the totem is the thing in the middle of the of the cult camp that you that they like pray to and they pump devotion into. Devotion becomes like upgrades to your your plot of land. Yeah. Um. So better houses, better you know mines, better farms, all that shit. Um, but also, if you filled up the Twitch token, um, it has a, had its own thing. You fill that up. You get there. It's a it's a spinny wheel, and on the on the wheel there are four things you can get. You can get wood, stone, follower, or food. But it, there's these little uh, Twitch sections of the wheel. There's four little tiny ones, so obviously it makes it harder to land on those. Um, but when you do that, you get other things like. Uh, wouldn't you get like gifts or follower forms or something like that? You would get follower forms, yeah. There's only so many too. There you go. Like I, that I exhausted them. I don't know how many there was, but I that okay. was exhausted pretty quick because I turned off the limit. So, but yeah, all th like not just one thing. All three of those things in one extension, very ambitious, and it's not hard to see like with the popularity of the game and how many people were trying it and how many like it like it would have been weird if there wasn't at least a little bit of problem. But it was, I think, probably too much. Uh, like, they, they, I, I, I think they might have underestimated how many people would be using it and how uh, breakable it could be. I mean, I hate to complain about something I didn't pay for. You know, it, the extension, <laughs> I could turn it off. Yeah. You know, I don't have to play with it. I want it, though. And it feels weird to bitch about it because it's just like, it's, it's you know, whipped cream. You got the pie. The whipped cream is gratis, and if, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it definitely makes the pie better. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it was a major but, part for streamers. That, that's yeah. why it's a big deal. Because it, it, it real, totally though. influenced our games. Like, it, it shaped yeah. how our playthroughs went. Uh, in a, oh, and dude, and, and it was, it's, it's one, of those, one of those games that was, it was so fun to call out the people in chat for doing the shit they were doing. Oh, in the yeah. Game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, call out, mm. like... I still remember the name. Uh, one of my viewers' boxes was the was the one who was like, "Feed him poop, dude. Dude, feed him poop." 
I had a mod that wanted to feed poop to a random viewer in chat, and then it was like, let's murder him. And it's like the nicest mod in my chat <laughs> that was trying to do this in game. So I had a lot of fun with that too. It was, it was yeah. pretty funny. Um, the actual like combat of the game. I'm curious, did y'all play on? Uh, mine was medium or default. Like, what difficulty were you guys playing? Were you on very hard? Very code? hard. Were you, what were I you played, on? Yeah, Jake? extra hard. Yep. Yep, okay. I played extra hard. How extra hard's a good challenge. What was the difficulty Fine. bump? Was it more HP? You took more damage? Both? Like what? You have no idea. Okay. Not I sure don't. I didn't honest. play the other ones. Yeah. Uh, it, if if I thought it was like, you know, drastically hard, then I I definitely would have. I, I have no problem bumping down the difficulty. Yeah. But it it extra hard did not seem drastically hard. Uh, especially, uh, easy, I mean, probably you'll go in to dungeons, you'll get killed. You'll come back out. You'll, you know, build up your cult. It, it just takes a bit longer because you gotta, you know, it encourages you to build up your cult, get better, uh, uh, items in, within the dungeon, better drops in the dungeons and, and, and that kind of stuff. And then you find like combo shit, like that makes you completely, uh, overpowered, like, like weapon completely and, overpowered and weapon and power stuff. You mean? Yeah, there's yeah. there's a couple of combos in there that it's like you have to try to lose, but they're random. Just like yeah. you know, a lot, just like uh, all of the roguelikes, it's it's you go in, you're hoping to get you know Polyphemus or however you say that in Isaac, but you'll settle for you know whatever. Yeah, like you're hoping to get that, but you know if you don't, you can still probably you know there's a chance you'll win. But like the the one thing I'm talking about is the uh, there's an invincibility like power that like makes you invincible for like two seconds yeah you get that it's over son huh. no matter what it's like almost no matter what you're facing it's over. over yeah i i didn't die until about 10 hours in on medium i, I should have probably played on a, a harder difficulty because it was it was not hard <laughs> whatsoever uh oh yeah and yeah, i yeah. i had like the they godly specifically weapons. built it as a more approachable type of game so yeah like yeah. It, it makes sense I, someone now, if you're if you're a gamer like you play a lot of games or excuse me, if you're an avid gamer, sorry. Yeah. Um, if you play, if avid gamer plays a lot of games and, or if you played like, you know, a lot of Isaac extra hard, totally fine difficulty for you. You can, you'll, you'll make it. It's, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but it's by no means undoable. Yeah. Someone in my chat was asking since co mentioned Hades is like the game difficult, uh, is Hades is in some places and oh. not at all. This is a much, oh. much more approachable difficulty. Um, and to be honest, like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I spent more time like base management than I did actually fighting. I don't know if that's just the, the type of game that it is, or if that's how I approached it, but I, I was in my base so much more than I was actually fighting. And whenever I fought, it, it takes, was very it, snappy. It just takes longer. Like it's, it's, it feels like it's this, it's the same amount of stuff to do, but it just, you know, management takes longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, there's, um, al there's also always one more thing in the base. Like, it's always, always just a constant churn of like, oh, got to go get the poop. Oh, I got to go put stuff into the, put seeds into that thing. Oh, got to go collect that thing. Oh, let's go fish real quick. Oh, got to make food. Oh, got to, oh, it's day. Let's do a sermon. Like, it just constantly goes back and forth. So it's yep. fun, though. That's, you, you, that's not a diss on the game. Like, that is fun. There's always something yeah. to do. It's, I, I, I related it to, like, leaving for vacation. No matter what, when you go to the dungeon, you forgot something. You're like, "Fuck, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to feed him." Or, "Ah, oh, god damn it, I didn't, I didn't reeducate the prisoner <laughs> this time." Shit. Yeah, you know yeah. that kind of shit. But it ends up, honestly, forgive yourself because it ends up not being a huge deal. Like, I never had a moment where I thought that I would lose my cult. I don't know how that happens, but like, I'm guessing either. if you get to like zero. It game overs or something? I have no idea. I don't know what the game but I, overs I never got is. to that point where it was even close. I don't know. Yeah. Because like I, I, I don't know if you can lose with the cult management mechanic. You can always just go get more, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It seems yeah. like there's from what I can tell, no no fail to it. No like hard, hard game over fail. Um but yeah, that's that's um, uh, the game. See. Oh. Taronin says uh the the dip, the difference between difficulty is Less hard spawn, lower chance on good items. That's how they. That's how they do the difficulty spike. Cool. Uh, from normal to extra hard. Cool. Uh, that's. I mean, I'm just reading that from the chat. I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, that seems 
reasonable. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Also, the voice acting in it. I mean, there's no I like laugh. it's all it's all gibberish, but it's all it's very very funny. I, it's very I funny. It's not like uh, it's not like Sims gibberish. It's it's more like uh, like Rick and Morty gibberish. Like yes. when they come up with a name for something, like Camp Flabanaba. Like they they say words like that a lot. Like. Ooga blah, flab, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, okay, and that's it. The, and, but it's a really long sentence. But they just go, Ooga blabo. I forgot what his his role is, but the country guy, I was dying laughing. Wh- whoever the guy is that has the country accent in the game, he's fantastic. I forgot what his role was as an NPC, but yeah. Are you dying. talking about the? Does it, does he have a mustache or not? I don't recall. Maybe. Okay. I only okay. I only heard it like I, twice, but every time I did, I, I think was you're talking about the dock worker guy. Maybe that might be him. Yeah. 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 It's good. A smuggler. There you go. Yeah. So cool. That uh for, now you've said Isaac so much, I'm like, and that's binding of Isaac. Yeah, thanks I know, for, I know, uh, I know. For talking about cult to the lamp. No. But I like I for me it's a thumbs up, totally like it's it's a great game. I, I had um well, it's gonna be weird because I did two cults. I did one stream cult and then I did one on my own time and that's the one i actually ended up like finishing um so i want to say if you take away the stream time it took me probably like you know what co why don't you say how long it took you to be because my number is going to be ridiculous it's probably going to be like 30 hours or something like that i took a, a bit of extra time i, I want to say between like 15 and 20 hours depending on how far you want to okay. do it and you can you can there replay you stuff if you want to and you can 100 percent it to take a little bit more time but it's not a very long game it's not yeah. a very long game. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. also not very expensive. So I think the, the price 25 works. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Price works. So yeah. cool. That uh, is uh, some, some cult of lamb. It's good. I saw I, in my Twitter echo chamber, I saw c- tons of game of the year conversation around this. It's not that good, right? Like, is it, is it going to be on a top 10 list for y'all? Like it, it, people seem to really be diehard fans of this. I, it, for me, I mean, it was any not. game. Any game that I put more than twenty hours in, like consideration, I'd have I have to really like it. Yeah. So it's definitely it's definitely in the conversation uh, for top ten. But like, does this beat Elden Ring? Like that's like the <laughs> the gold standard. Like right. Yeah. No 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 no. Like we're it's like this is farm league. Elden Ring's like the pros, you know. <laughs> like, right. Right. They yeah. might be the best double a team but we're talking about you know the yankees I mean, they're not even really comparable right yeah, yeah. okay that because I, I saw that and i was like that seems like maybe i'm the weird guy here thinking that this, i don't know if this is in that conversation whatsoever but yeah. yeah i i would not call it a game of the year yeah um but i think it's it's great for what it is yeah yeah sure sure for sure no I, i've said it might crack my top 10 for sure like it's it's got the okay. potential like a lot of year left but yeah it's in the conversation yeah we'll find out uh in our game uh, why am i prom- i'm not gonna promote our game of the year so what the fuck uh, <laughs> let's talk uh xenoblade chronicles 3 co have you finished the game i typed that in and i don't know if this is the latest but you have episode 91 <laughs> on your yeah and i'm probably people have told me i'm about halfway through the game <laughs> it's <laughs> It's it's Xenoblade time. Yeah, right. a little Xenoblade time for sure. I'm not sleeping. I promise. Okay, no problem. It'll be. <laughs> don't worry. We, we don't have spend, much to talk about. Yeah, we won't spend um, much time. I'm just kidding. I, Xenoblade for me is one of those games that like I I'm I'm playing it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I did decide last stream to drop to normal. Uh, I got Dude, to I yeah, got to a God, point in the that's... main story where there was like this one boss, and it it was two elite mobs, and they would immediately summon like a fleet of small enemies, and those small I I tried probably 15 times in a row. Those small enemies absolutely ripped me in half and i and i was just sitting there thinking about it and i was like okay here's the deal i think hard mode is fine if you're if you've got uh, you know 200 hours kicking around and you want to do everything and you want to fully explore all the areas like i I get it the hard mode would work great but for how i want to play the rest of the game that is not the way i want to play the rest of the game sure so i dropped it down to normal uh breeze through the fight obviously and kind of decided if i'm going to beat it it's probably going to be on normal um 
So the game is fun. I actually really like how the story is super JRPG, but at the same time, it's not a JRPG story I played before. It's kind of fun. Yeah, um, it's true. That part's really enjoyable about it. I, the characters are fun. I'm liking the voice acting when it's there. There's there's lots of things to like about this game. Um, the only thing for me is, again, I, I, I the more I've played it, the more I've realized that like a lot of it is just kind of filler. Like there's there's a lot of really cool, important, big parts, but some of it is just kind of like, straight up one piece style filler yeah um i don't know if i'm gonna finish it i i do probably plan on at least playing it more but like i still have even if i mainline the story at my point i still have like 30 plus hours left. you're what what so, chapter are you in five uh five okay that that's you where i it? stopped no i i didn't finish oh, okay. it I, i'm i'm probably uh zeke you were talking about numbers like this hit this hit like 400 viewers for me and i was like Holy, people do not like watching holy this game. Holy shit, I got to get the fuck yeah. off of this goddamn game. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's really unfortunate, yeah. though, is people don't like watching this game, but at the same time, the people that do they tend to be, it. like, super interested yes. and love it, and, like, like the streams were actually a lot of fun. The numbers sucked, but the streams themselves were great, and, yes. I, and I I love the chat when, when I'm playing it, and, you know, it, it's... If I if I finish a game, it's it's certainly not going to be because I want to advance my Twitch career. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's sure. going to be just because the game is fun and it's enjoyable to play and and it's good. That being said, uh, I, just so Chad is on, you know aware of this, we are not blind to the fact that it's incredibly hard to watch these games. Oh yeah. If you're not, especially if you're not following along with it, so we understand like, why. If you're, it's if not you're like, a where new, are the oh, viewers? Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're a new viewer. Or even if you're one that likes this game, if you miss a single episode of main story content, you may have no idea what's going on and everything you're watching makes zero sense. Totally. Um, which sucks. So, you know, it's just, that's any, any long RPG, we kind of run the risk of that kind of situation, unless the game is like inordinately just fun to watch, uh, like, you know, a Skyrim or a Fallout or things like that. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. It kind of sucks, but yeah. Yeah. It's Here like walking into a, like, uh, or, you know, uh, metaphorically walking into a wow stream with all the extensions and shit like uh it just it just makes me do the grandpa simpson like what's going on in here never mind <laughs> it's like this would sure. take an hour for someone to explain everything i need to know to enjoy the content er, yeah. and that's what this looks yeah. like it's very daunting just to look at very that's true. a big thing very you true. don't even know what you're watching very true. Like it's you don't even understand what's going on on the screen. It's just a lot of kids yelling special moves that over and over <laughs> and over again that you don't even know what those are. So it's just like, is yep. this a hipster flash mob party? What is this? Is what's this happened? what I heard about? Yeah, I, uh, I, <clears throat> oh my lord. You uh, yeah, <laughs> it's one of those things. Like when 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 you see people asking the question, like, is he doing well? Like, <laughs> yes that that's, is he that's winning me with poe when i go to a poe stream like i i, I hosted uh, jp just the other day and i was watching po i was like i don't know if he's doing good or not i have no idea uh, seems good well, he's not dying I, the funny is that when you uh resubbed to me is it was that the host yeah 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 so the funniest part about that zeke i was so into poe i had no idea that you hosted me i had no oh. idea that that even like <laughs> i just saw you resub and i was like well, that's weird. Zeke's watching me play POE. Like, does he feel bad for me? What is the viewership wrong? Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, am I about to get told I have like a debilitating disease? <laughs> He's like coming to pat me. Like, what the fuck? He's watching POE. I was very confused by that. Now it makes sense. We figured it out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I just I I walked in. I I you know dropped the hose, dropped my sub, and I was like. Ah, he's dropping what appear to be light up dildos on the ground all over the place. <laughs> oh, you're doing a totem build? Yep, I'm playing totems. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. well, I watched for a little bit to see like those can't. No, there's not dildos. All right, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. There's two type of people. Are those dildos? Oh, totems. Yeah, you're playing totems. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's funny as shit. Uh, Xenoblade. I have two two big things I want to say. One, I Co, you talked about the difficulty and and moving down. I got to where you got with the difficulty in about two hours. Like I hit the threshold of like, what the fuck is the difficult? Like, I don't understand it. First of all, like normal is you can literally just press a button and go through the entire game. Hard is like, I'm gonna fail this fight twenty times before I fight it. 
and there's no in between at all yeah. whatsoever. And if you actually like go and explore in the game, you completely over level everything in the game and it makes normal even easier than just pressing a button. You could like probably leave it on autopilot when you get into the game, switch it to hard. You can be 20 levels over a fucking boss fight and you're going to die in like a second. So I don't, yep. it's, it's weird. It's a weird, uh, difficulty thing. Dude, the, the that fight game. that I was on for those asking the fight, the fight that I was stuck on was the one where you're trying to get information on the target you're going to, and you have to go to two places. And one of them, there's like a downed ship. And right when you get to the ship, these two big, big, uh, uh, what are they? Lemnuses or whatever they call them. Yeah. Spawn. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and there, and then right when the fight starts, they both summon ads. So that, that was the fight that I got. I was just like, you know what? Got I seriously, like after my 15th death, I was just like, you know what? Not feeling Xenoblade right now. <laughs> I was like, can I, can I play another game? Is there yeah. anything else I can play? And then I was like, well, actually, no, I kind of want to keep playing this. Let me just try dropping it to normal. Chat was like, drop it to normal, drop it to normal. And sure enough, I did. And it was fine. And I had yeah. a good time with it. So, yeah. Yeah. Is it just the fights take longer? Is that the, all it, it is? Or it is becomes it? HP no, sponge now, and you die here, really Yeah, fast. here's the thing. Here's okay. the thing. I do kind of like what the devs did with hard mode. Really? Because the hard mode is an actual <laughs> hard mode for 100% players. 99% of games like this, if you go everywhere and explore everything, then you become so stupidly overpowered that the main story True. is just like you just not, you blow it down by breathing on it heavily. But in this game, like you have, if you do it even like 100% clear, that's what hard mode is for. Yeah. So like, you know, it, it's still a challenge, even if you, if you blast through it. Now, granted, if you explore everything and go everywhere and use fire place leveling, I've heard that the even hard mode can get kind of easy. But oh, if, you don't use, yeah, yeah. if you don't use the fireplace leveling and still explore and go everywhere, I've heard hard mode is a pretty good challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I, even on normal, I had to stop using it because I was the, the main quest bosses I, I'm, were like, I'm stopping now. They were like yeah. 40. It's like, do you want to over level to level 61? It's like, well, no, yeah. I don't want to do that. We're not using that. Yeah. It's a, it's a, there's some weird mechanics. Um, oh, they give you, so in the game, they give you a way you get to bonus make yourself XP. OP. Well, you get bonus XP, and when you go, there's like, uh, you can rest. There's like rest. There's, you take camps and stuff like that. And you can go in there and like take this bonus XP and apply it to all your party members to like further level them. But it all it really does is just give you more HP and, and more levels, right? Yeah. Um, and so you can very quickly, if you're playing on normal, <clears throat> uh, medium difficulty, normal or whatever, uh, you can be like, I think if you used it every single time, at least where I'm at, I'd be fighting level 35 mobs and I would be like level 55 or something like that. Um, okay. And it's, it's pretty like you just walk around and beat everything's ass. It also sucks too, because if you do that without getting like two in the weeds on the game, the way that it's structured is you have to be within a five level range of a mob to get advancement points for your characters. Yeah. And so the second that you outgrow that five level range on mobs, it sucks. You can't like further a character anymore. And that was another issue that I kind of had with the game because I wanted to continue leveling and I enjoyed like going and exploring things. But by exploring things, I out leveled everything worth where I was. And then I couldn't actually like unlock these new classes that I got with a game that's game like called... structured around classes. System there was sucks. this game called Last Remnant that did this yes. weird similar thing where if you leveled too much, it was actually a huge problem. And in fact, I pretty much bricked my first playthrough of that game because of that. Because I'm a grinder, so I wanted to grind Same. stuff out, but I Same. totally screwed my characters up. Um, it kind of it, It's kind of a feeling of that, where it's like you can get to a point where even though you're a lot stronger, you can't grind your subclasses to a point where like all these cool other things just are like out of your game. Yep. You just can't really do them. Yeah. Um, so that so. part sucks. The other thing that I hate about this game, it's time, Nintendo. We need new hardware. We need it so fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> God, For the love of God, God, read the room. Fucking we, damn look, it, That's because you were the first. <laughs> just because you were the first does not mean you're the best. Switch your damn buttons around. It's time. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't time. know about that. That one doesn't bother me. I got used to that pretty quick. No. No, old people like me, I only get to do one of those. My brain only gets into go into one mode. Either down is yes or down and B is no. That's it. So sure. like I, I was, I was I playing, a, what was it? I was playing a, 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 a cult during the day with a controller and then I was playing Xenoblade in the evening 
And I could, oh. I could not wrap my old man brain around like I would constantly mess up those. I get it. It's time. Nintendo, what what we need to do, what we need to do as a society yeah. is uh, just relabel all of the buttons to the dev buttons. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight for the shoulders and triggers and like, or, or whatever they are, you yeah. know, because you talk to devs, devs have the, have the number system for the buttons, right? They're not A, B, or X, Y. They are one, two, three, and four, blah, blah, blah. Universal. Let's yeah. let's go, let's let's all go metric. Here's the thing. I think just have options to change it. That's all you need. Have options where people can rebind it to whatever they want. That solves all the problems in the world. It, every problem in the world is solved right there. Uh, but yeah, dude, the co the amount of times and and uh, friend of the show, Bike Man, uh, even played the emulated version of this game uh, on a PC running it at 4K 60. It's like you're playing a fucking different game. Like it, it, yeah. it's a phenomenal it's looking dreams, game. Dude. It's gorgeous. And some of the dudes, yeah, some of the vistas and stuff, and the and the, it's the Skyrim style like explosions of of new areas. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just a gorgeous looking game that you're playing on a 30 FPS like 540p console. Like, sure, sales are you know, what they are for the Switch, and it makes sense as a business that Nintendo doesn't need to put out new hardware, blah, blah, blah. But fuck, man, this then put this game on PC or something. Like, it just sucks to see it. I hated it so much. It's one of the biggest, yeah. like, drawbacks for the game is just how bad some of, some of the fights were, like, sub-20 FPS, it felt like. Like, spinning the camera was sub-20 FPS. It just felt awful um really running around the zone like even right now you can see a little bit of an fps drop uh, and this is the first zone in the game i think um and the, the zones even get bigger than this by a pretty considerable margin and fps just continues to drop so would love new hardware uh sometime in the next 10 years nintendo please i know you're making a killing you can but... remap your buttons on switch can you like the, the console or or the game <clears throat> is it saying like at the, that, the so. system level if it's system level, I, I don't so. know that. I, I think on the on the system itself, you can you can remap the buttons to be. Oh no, kidding! Swap, a B X Y. I'm totally yeah. gonna well, there do you that. Go. I had no that idea. solves your That's problem. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um. Oh, right on. Go on the switch setting. Go to controller and sensors and just change the button mapping. There you go. There you Simple. Go. Simple. Simple. That'll change it in every game, I'm assuming, right? If it's system level, yeah. Unless for yeah. some reason the game overrides that, but. I'll do that um, next time I do it. Story wise, game's great. I love the story uh it's like surprisingly deep yeah. in a lot of ways um and, it is and kind of as someone uh as someone that dealt with the death of someone close to me this game deals with death in a really strange way uh in a really like proper way oh you can rebind them and so that was kind of uh interesting to play through it uh the base story is that all these people that you're seeing here that co's playing and all the people in the world uh are born at 10 years old and they only live for 10 years. And after 10 years, they die. And that's their entire life. They're basically war. just, they're battle clones. <clears throat> yeah, they're battle so clones. So the, yeah. the second they're born, the first thing they're done is they're, they start getting trained how to fight. And yep. there's, there's like this endless war going on in the world. And then they get to 10 and they essentially get killed yeah. like by, their, by their team lead, essentially. <clears throat> so If they make it. It's, it's wild, man. Yeah, if they even make it. Yeah. Very dark uh, premise. For sure. And the game like starts out very somber and, and very much... Uh, what you would expect for that subject material so it's good i'm enjoying it it's very long though like i was saying i think most people are finishing it around is that a spoiler hours. no no this, this is stuff that was in the trailer yeah that's no opening yeah, this, of the is, game. this is basic world building there's a lot more to it trust me yeah that's the bare bone that's the five that's the bare, bare, bare bone minimum yeah. yeah see it in the first cutscene. uh that is uh xenoblade chronicles though i i will probably finish it off stream uh it it is i'm right I'm right around chapter five as well. That's where I stopped playing it uh, last week, but I think I'm 45 ish or maybe 50 hours in. You're probably a lot more because you're playing on hard. And so it probably takes a lot was more tries. I was playing on hard. Yeah. 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 Um, Let me, I have a question good. for you guys that's, that's sort of related to this. Okay. Um, do you guys, uh, well, this is, the, what, this is what I do sometimes. Um, okay. I play a game on hard uh, streaming it. And then it just 
fucking takes too long and it, and it gets like if i feel like i'm getting super boring or it's like stagnating or whatever i switch it down to a different difficulty and i, I continue from there uh-huh. but if i play it off stream i will beat my head against very hard until i win <laughs> you know because i'm not like uh, yeah. entertaining people sure or I, trying to <clears throat> attempting to shut up before you before you say it i'm trying to entertain <laughs> people the the trick zeke is to make your entire channel just banging your head against various things until you get through them. Yeah. That's like a single game streamer trying to do variety. It's a huge change. It is pretty big change. for sure. (laughs) You know, it's like, just get used to get used to incredible failure. Yeah. Um, Making my channel in a new direction. Y'all thousands of people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I tend to play whatever difficulty I would play on or off stream. Like I, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Zeke, if I'm playing something off stream, if I was playing it on stream, I'd play the same difficulty. It, it, it's whatever. I, I can't think of a game where like that isn't or hasn't been true. Well, I let's see. The thing is, I I don't mind spending eight hours on one boss off yeah. stream because it's just my time that I'm wasting and I'm I'm not bored. Sure. But like, if I feel like I'm boring other people, that's completely different. Mm. Like. Mm. I want to give people change, you know, change of scenery. And, you know, sometimes that works out, you know, sometimes 10 hours of the same boss in, in a fucking stupid, idiotic platformer game. <laughs> sometimes that, that does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think it would be good. It's not good all the time. Yeah. Uh, speaking of games offline, Cole, you played a little bit of uh, online and, and it's a, uh re-release like it came out on playstation original i don't know zeke i think you played through it but that spider-man game still a very good fucking game uh, dude it's so pretty it's like it um is, god yeah, it is it's gorgeous. pretty it it's is awesome so pretty. i've never played miles morales and it got me really into doing that also more importantly for me i never played the dlc so yeah. playing through yeah, the same. dlc i was not aware the caliber of quality of the dlc it's like very it good. was really good it was very entertaining um it yeah it was uh it was awesome it got me really excited for miles morales i'm kind of Same. having to hold back because i heard it's coming out it, for pc yes it comes out in so, october they're they're gonna put that in there as october well. yep oh people are telling me end of the year i think it's october chat will will fact yeah. check me on that uh um, yeah i'm i'm very much looking forward to playing miles morales for the first time yeah it's it's i'm definitely back on board the snow in that game and miles morales at, like you're going through the city during uh just like christmas time co and it, it is one of those games where if you think it looks pretty now like holy shit it looks gorgeous uh, also the web scene and stuff in uh the original is is excellent it's awesome it's incredible fact, I, I never i never fast traveled because i just yeah. had so much fun zipping around the city and everyone in chat was like just wait till you play miles morales yes you think better. this is good just wait till... and i was like how does it get better <laughs> yeah they, like my god dude made it better so yeah i'm looking forward to that too I put uh, like seven or eight hours in, into that game off stream and I'm not even doing the story. I'm just going around doing all the bullshit activities that you can do because it's so fun just to sw- like the swinging in that game is just so unbelievably good. It's one of the best like it, it's the same thing as the God of War mechanics. It's the same thing with like the, the axe. They, they nailed movement in that game. It's incredible. Um, yep. And it runs well. I'm playing it at 4K. I've got on my my big TV, I sit back and fucking incredible. Runs 100 FPS, RTX on, uh, all the stuff that I wanted. Um, can't, can't, if you haven't played it before and you have a PC that can run it, it's super high graphics. Uh, yeah. Worst part it about out. it is the price. It would is have liked to have seen it. Would have liked it to be in a little bit cheaper. I mean, yeah. I guess they can kind of get away with it because they include the DLC. Yeah. It was charged. Was it, that was charged on the PS4, right? Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, it's kind of a game of the year edition thing, but even then, I mean, it is, it is essentially a, it's, it's a, it's a remat, a, not a, not a reboot, but it's essentially just kind of like a, a remaster of a game. That's not that old. Yeah. So it would have been nice to see it be like 45 or 50 or something. But I agree. I agree. Yeah. Very, still great. I mean, still awesome. Especially if you've never played it, it's a great, yes, it's worth 60 bucks. If, if you've never played it. So. If you're a Marvel <laughs> fan, check it out. Like it's one of the best Marvel games, one of the best, the best Spider-Man game, I will say, probably the best Marvel game, um, out there, I would say. Zeke, what do you like? Celtic Knight, Celtic Knight got me with that one. The tarted up edition. 
<laughs> I mean, not not wrong. Yeah. Some tarted up whore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got uh, ray tracing DLSS, the DLAA. Yep. It can do widescreen. Yep. One forty four. So it's it's got all it's got all and it's a good port. It's a good port. Like it's it's a solid port to be fair. So that's yeah. good. I I put it on. I have a. I I'm not going to go into why, but I bought a forty nine inch super ultra widescreen monitor. So it's a. Uh, by 5160 by no, let's go into why no we don't need it's a very long explanation you don't want to know why <laughs> oh that, that just would, makes me want to know why even more <laughs> it wouldn't seem like a long one because you are uh you're a tech snob jp like you got to have the best okay shit. so here's the there reason go. why i got in <laughs> this is a talk show talk <laughs> it started when i bought another monitor okay i bought a samsung okay. neo g8 which is a 4k uh, semi-curved monitor, right? It does uh, 4K at 240 hertz. And on that gaming PC... 240? Jesus. Yes, it's a fucking beast. Uh, but be careful, buyer beware, the QA on those uh, Samsung panels are pretty rough. So you got you can get some, some bad issues. Anyways, on my gaming PC, I have a 3090 graphics card. And a 3090 graphics card cannot run a 4K 240 hertz... 4K 120 hertz uh, monitor TV that I have right here to my side, and also a 1080p panel. It can't run all those things. It's too much. I I somehow took all the bandwidth from a 3090. I reached out to NVIDIA, and they're like, yeah, we've never had someone complain about this before. You're the first. <laughs> I'm like, well, sorry. I like my monitors. They're like, okay, well, you're going to have to, you know, do something different. This is like zero world problems. Yes. You know, like, yes. In, in the, first world. NVIDIA was literally like, why? And I go, well, I got <laughs> this, all this stuff. So anyways, I what I had to do is the streaming PC has four monitors on it. Any graphics card can only support up to four monitors on a single graphics card. Yep. So I started thinking, well, I need to take this monitor that's on my gaming PC and put it on the streaming PC, but I don't want to change my monitor placement of my setup. So what if I took one of those 1080p monitors and turned it into a widescreen monitor? Okay. So then I could still have four monitors on the streaming PC with Makes the sense. same screen real estate and also take the 1080p monitor from the gaming PC and put it on the streaming monitor. So then I started looking into, well, what's a good uh, widescreen monitor? I found this LG monitor. It's a 49 inch ultra super widescreen monitor. It's it's 5140 by 1440p. So it's two wow. 27 inch 1440p monitors side by side if you have to visualize that. It's fucking huge. Do you have a picture of your setup? Uh, yeah, but it's not great right now. I was, I'm, I'm not showing it off at this point because it's not very okay. good looking. The monitor is oh so Lord. fucking big that it cuts my desk in half, essentially. And so it's very pushed up on this edge of the desk. Oh, so it's one of the things I'm going to change. So that's why I bought that monitor. So now it's got three 1080p plus one 49 inch ultra widescreen monitor on the streaming PC. That's why it's there. I don't know why this whole thing started, but you guys have a good story. Explanation. Yeah. Thank you. Funny enough, that, hey, uh, that introduced a whole other issue uh, with I can't actually play at 240 hertz uh, on that Samsung monitor. And I don't, we don't know the issue. I reached out to Elgato. They don't know the issue. I reached out to NVIDIA. They don't know the issue. It basically, if I start a game in full screen at 240 hertz with the capture card cloning the monitor at the same time, it just reboots the PC. It causes like a display port error and just reboots the PC. So I don't know if it's some, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. No one knows. So I'm playing. What you probably computers. need is another widescreen monitor. I'm actually let's thinking. Try to, let's, try to um, make, let's try to make this one like at least 60 inches. Here's the, here's the issue. I thought yeah. about buying a second one and just putting it on top of the other one. Yep. But the issue is you need a 1080p monitor so that you can capture this easily. What? Like, because this is a whole monitor dedicated to just this screen right here. And so what, if what I... What you should probably that, do is you hard. should get a third one and put it above your head. So, it like, it like caterpillars up. And then you can did use you, that one as, as lighting. Did you see the Samsung Arc that just got announced? 
Did someone link that yeah. to you? It is a it's a fifty two inch curved monitor TV, and it can uh, it's it's like it's a hundred uh, hundred degree curve or whatever. It's a fucking massive TV slash monitor. Like that it sits on your desk. Um, it's thirty five hundred dollars. It can have it can support two fourteen forty p screens on it. Or sorry, three fourteen. It's three fourteen forty p screens, twenty seven inch <laughs> uh, stacked on top of it. <clears throat> And it can go fully not, vertical. It's not big enough. It is. See what it's what stupid. I want. What I want is I all, and I don't think this is asking much. I just want a monitor that if I'm looking at the center, it takes up my entire field of view. I don't think that's asking too much. I think if it was like 190 inches and curved, to like I want to, I want to be inside my monitor. To be honest, so it curves like, like around the side of my head and around the top. Let me get a video on this. Right. This might, this honestly might be what you need. <laughs> yeah, it's like VR, but you don't have to wear the dumb headset. Exactly. That's what I want. That's what I want. In fact, you know what? You know what? I want, I want a monitor that's the entire around my head like this. It's the whole shebang. Is that not yeah. a thing? Is that should, I feel like that should be a thing. Should be a thing. Where like you sit down at your computer and it just lowers on top of you. Like that. I've got a scorpion chair to sell you. If you've seen the scorpion chair, Here you go. I tweeted out about like kind of like really like it's the race car bed of game of game con like uh gaming setups. Yeah. You like sit in it and this scorpion tail comes down with the monitors does it go like right in front of you and you're in like a racing chair. Yeah. Like one of those racing game racing chairs. And it's like all encompassing. You sit like right here. That's kind like, of where I'm it at. looks so cool. That actually looks pretty great it's pretty like it's 3500 bucks uh oh, just God. fyi oh. and you have to use the stand on it you can't mount it unless it it weighs about 100 pounds oh. um you have to use the stand it comes with it's, look at this look at this joker like three feet away from his monitor that'd be the, like a that's, solid that's, foot oh yeah the the solid viewing foot. the viewing distance is uh i think 32 inches is what they said you'd be 32 inches yeah. away from the monitor uh, but it's supposed to support that viewing because of the curve in it but watch when it goes. Uh, here's the, here's the thing. If he, there it goes vertical. <laughs> it can go vertical, and then it can support three 27 inch 1440 displays in that. And you can also with the software on the TV. I know way too much about this. You can change the size of the image just by literally clicking the little dial on it, and it will just change. Pretty sick. I don't know if it's thirty five hundred dollars sick though. Kind of, kind of pricey. It's also only HDMI. Doesn't go over Display Port, so that kind of sucks. There this it is, is, right 1990. there. Nineteen ninety. That's the thing right there where you can change the size of it and just move it around the monitor. Cool. It like runs on the monitor software or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. It's a, it's a weird thing. There it is. You can there see you it. that's the vertical monitor aspect of it. Well, dude, I mean, when are they just going to make an H-shaped monitor? That's all I want. I just want an <laughs> eight-shaped monitor, so I can just have one monitor sure. right here. Sure, I get it. I get it. Uh, funniest part about all this, I now am. I was joking with my wife, and I'm joking, but it actually was serious when it first happened. Uh, I have claustrophobia in general, and just tight spaces, flying cars, whatever. When I sat down for the first time at my desk, being about I would say 270 degrees worth of monitors around me. I was getting claustrophobia while working by just sitting here. And there like, you go. Like I'm here's one edge of the monitor. That's the other edge of the monitor. Like that's how much shit I have around me now. So I I gotta change. I really want to see a picture of this now. I gotta change some <laughs> stuff. It's too much. It's too fucking much. So oh. it's a it's a break time project. I'm gonna change it over the break. I'm gonna change cool. up the situation. Back to the video game, Zeke. Let's talk. And I think Co played a little bit of it. Uh, thym thymesia? Th thymesia? The, I want to say it's, it's time. It's like, pronounced, like the it's pronounced seasoning. To, to imagine. Yeah. It's thymesia? I want to say it's like that because it's spelled like time with just with Sia on the end. Sia did music for this game? Yes, she did. Wow. Let's talk about it absolutely correct she did all of the composing for all the music Incredible. funny enough the music in this game is actually really good is it? <laughs> it's worth it is definitely worth mentioning um 
Yeah, the game, uh, the game is called Timesia. It is a Souls-like, very much, very much a Souls-like game. Um, I related it to it. The, the best uh, equation I can make is Bloodborne plus uh, Sekiro okay. equals Timesia. Uh, Bloodborne for its aesthetic, for its look, you know, for its feel to it, you know, the immersion of it, the, you know, the rotting town uh, time period, Plague Doctor time period. That kind of shit. But the Sekiro uh, battle kind of style, uh, if you choose to use it like that, they have a a deflection system in it. It's not overly complicated. It's just it's just like uh, previous like Arkham games where it's like this attack you can deflect if you hit it the right time. This attack you have to press a different button um, because it's a heavy attack, and so on and so forth. Mm. Um, It's a like I played. Let's see how many hours do I have in it so far. I have looks like seven hours in it so far, and it's fucking fantastic. Uh, the biggest I've heard the biggest complaint about it is that it's a little it's short. Mm. Um, it's not a long experience. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got to the end, but uh, it is uh, developed by, developed by uh, Over Border Studio. Never heard of them before this. Uh, Team Seventeen is the publisher, though. So Team Seventeen, um, NFT company. That yeah yeah it's. Uh, it's it's a fucking stain that. that you just can't get rid of, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough to get rid of it, man. God, I have so much. Like <clears throat> they've been like Team Seventeen over the years have been so good to me. Like yeah, no, they're, uh, they're... you know, you know, free shit, sponsorships, like all totally. that kind of stuff. They've been they've been just like really cool. And it sucks that they got this fucking. They made a really bad choice, and they've got this fucking black mark for yeah. however long. Yeah. Um. But this game is fucking fantastic. Um. The the biggest thing I think you need to do in a game like this is have crisp, solid gameplay. And what I mean by crisp is no, there's absolutely no sponginess to this. There's no drift. There's nothing. It's very precise. And I love that. And it's quick. Um, you know how in, in the souls games, so like depending on the weapon you use, some of the weapons have like weight, You're like, yeah. like this one, you get like one, you get your main weapon. And you upgrade it as you go. Uh, and then you get uh, uh, these sub-weapons that you can use as well. Like, this is the sub-weapon screen um, that you can, like, you find um, uh, these crystals that say, like, Axe Crystal or Halberd Crystal or whatever. And as soon as you get three of them, you can unlock the, the permanent sub-weapon of the Axe or the whatever. Um, and those sub-weapons are basically, like, your magic weapons. They use up your magic bar. So there's a health bar and a magic bar uh, on the bottom left. If you if we go back to that other screen, yeah. Um, and the green bar is the magic, and uh, all of the sub weapon, the permanent sub weapons, use up that green bar. Um, you can also get temporary one use weapons, uh, consumable uh, uh, weapons, where um, well, let's start with the premise of the fighting. You have your main weapon, which is your sword, and it's your sword and your dagger. Sword for hitting, dagger for deflecting, and then you have your claw. Now, your claw is this green magic big thing that uh, um, you use to uh, affect their, or, or take their HP down. Enemies have two HP bars. The top one, there's like, they're overlapped. So you got the top one, the one you see is the, the like armor or whatever. You use your sword to take that down and reveal the, the HP bar, the green bar underneath. And then you use your claw, which is most effective to take that uh, the HP down. So uh, it's it's a, a trade off or a, a combo system of like slice sword 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 sword, claw attack to take down the green bar, sword 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 to take down more of the armor or whatever, and then um, claw to take take the rest of it away. And then there's like finishers and all this kind of shit. But it's a it's a it's a neat system. It's a very simple. Uh, not, or it's not very simple. It's not overly complex, I guess mm. I should say. Okay. Um, they can regen the armor. So the, the white bar that's on top, it, it reveals the health bar. But if you leave it without doing damage to them for too long, it starts regening. So it covers up that green bar again. Um, and uh, the sub-weapons that you can get, the, the one-time use weapons that you can get, you do a... a, a charged claw finisher so you go and you go whoa and you like pull their soul out or whatever and whatever weapon they were using you get a one-time use version of that weapon 
So, like, there's a lot of cool shit in it, but the 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 best, like, my favorite and best part about it is it's so like it's fast, it's crispy fast. Like, this is this is like no. Hopefully, if you don't want spoilers, this is the first boss um, that I'm facing here. Really cool design. He's like a a a circus like ringleader gambit kind of guy. (laughs) Um, He fights you, yeah, he fights you with a cane, like. I love that, like there's little touches that are little style touches that I really enjoy. Like when he kicks you, he holds his hat on because you know if you were doing that, your head would fly off. So he holds his hat on and he fucking kicks you. It's like those little tiny like devil in the details style choices. I really dig it. Um, and also like he fucked you up quick. The biggest pain mm-hmm. in the ass, biggest pain in the ass in this game, and I it's it's like they asked me like. What is the hardest aspect of like fighting mobs in Dark Souls? Delayed attacks. Oh, it is so full of them. <laughs> Just like, and you're like, deflect, fuck, deflect, fuck, deflect, punk. <laughs> you deflect three times before the attack actually hits you because you're like ready for it all day long. It just happens to me. And they like the boss fights switch it up. So he'll do like, you know, like two quicks, a slow, and then a quick, and then a slow. And if you memorize them, just like Sekiro, you can take no damage. You can, you know, deflect, 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 you know, if you get him, get him down. Yeah. But if you fuck up one and you're off rhythm, he hits you with all the four rest of the combo. <laughs> sure. Um, like a fighting so it's, game. It's, re- it's very rewarding and very punishing, but it's, it's so satisfying when you, when you get, like, I don't, uh, if you got the same feeling from second row, like I did when I was like, ping, 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 fuck you, I got that. <laughs> There's a little bit of that in this, for sure. Like, I got that combo, I blocked every single shot, and, you know, you go in there and punish. And it's it's really, really fun. Um, I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed this game and how much I'm looking forward to continuing it on Tuesday. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what, what are they asking for it? Uh, it, let's see. Is it a full price game or? 23? No, uh, it's twenty twenty four ninety nine on sale for okay. twenty two forty nine. Cool. Yeah. Time Timesia. I didn't even think there was another way to pronounce it. Like it looked like you know parsley sage was Marian time, mm. and I think it's Timesia. Honestly, because there are <laughs> spices in the game that you pick up uh, for your uh, uh, health. Oh. Refill like your it, it refills your health like um like the Souls game mostly like Bloodborne. You know how when Bloodborne you like jab yourself yeah with the uh, injector like this one you like crush, but it's like right it. down at your side so it's very similar to Bloodborne. You like crush this thing you get your health back, um but you can power up your your health vial with seasonings like cinnamon and thyme <laughs> and sage and shit like that. So As I think do. it's Timesia. Cool. That's why I've always pronounced it like that. All right, that's that one. Uh, what time? did you play it, Co? Yeah, Co, you played it, right? Yeah, did okay. Echo everything Zeke was saying? Uh, yeah, I do. I, th- I, I, the combat system I felt was a little bit okay. It's very hard, so it's like, so if you if you want to challenge, it's there. Um, there were definitely I felt like at times like some a little bit of timing issues with some of the things, um, which were a little frustrating, and also because you know we also should probably talk about the not so great too. Very indie feel to the game. So like levels are are like the, the the way they're connected is pretty simple. Like the intro is basically just like a couple pans with some like basic text across the bottom. Um, I, I, it's definitely it, it, the presentation, unfortunately, does not really live up to the quality of some of the other parts of the game, mm. um, which unfortunately for me was a little bit of a downer because I was hoping the world is actually pretty interesting and cool. Um, but the way it's delivered to you, unfortunately, is is clearly was not like the total focus of the project sure <laughs> if you will yeah. um but yeah overall it was a cool game i played it once and didn't really feel the need to keep playing it i did beat the first boss the circuits boss there um and then kind of did a little of the next level and was just kind of like eh, you know i think there's other things i'd rather do cool. um but i mean it's it's a solid entry and i can i can certainly see like diehard souls fans like really enjoying it especially for the gameplay wow like i i honestly thought you might like i thought you, i expected you to rave about it. like uh, not you know gush but like i had just a, a wonderful experience with it and i i figured because you love sekiro right 
I do. I absolutely yeah. love Sekiro. But one of the reasons I love Sekiro is 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 because of like the world and the presentation and everything is all fantastic. The gameplay in Temesia, 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 gameplay in T is good. It's just uh, it it was not quite enough to kind of like lift the other parts that I wasn't so digging. Up. Okay. Okay. I may return. To I, uh, it, you know, I, I'm not. with you though. I'm glad you brought up that, that, uh, cause I, <laughs> cause I made the joke, like you pick up these little, like, like pieces of lore and they're not uh, like, they're perfect for me because they're like tweets. They're just like real short, <laughs> you know, like a couple of sentences long, which is perfect. They get right to the point. They don't use a lot of like ex, uh, 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 superfluous flowery language, but I will say the names of the notes look like the names of the fucking files, the TXT files. It's like Garden Note 01. You know, <laughs> just missing the fucking underscores and the dot txt, you know? Nice. Um yeah. and also the the like the way they present them to you, it's just like like a uh, stock text in a box. Mm. Yeah. Like, I wanted them like can't you just like put that on some papyrus or some shit just flower it up a little bit just like <laughs> something. Like I realize that's not your focus but like put a background on it. Feels it, or it feels like somebody in chat just said, and I kind of agree, it feels kind of incomplete. It feels like they just didn't really like like finish that part of the game. Like it <laughs> it it was a little just enough off putting for me to be like, eh, I'll go I'll go play something else. Yeah. Yeah. But I uh, like yeah, I'm gonna play it on Tuesday if you wanna come check it out. I the VODs are up. Cool. Like I loved it. The music was great, the music was fitting. Um there's no there's no voice acting in it other than like little little like grunts or little like sighs or breaths from from other people or like maybe i think the boss had like some ha-has or like something like that so there's no like words being spoken yeah. uh, during the game um but it's still very immersive i i it's probably a style thing like i like that style I like like the carnival like dust bowl like kind of yeah plague doctor style to it like the steampunkish kind of uh, look and feel like I dig that shit. Like Bloodborne. Like I dig that shit. Yeah. But uh it's inspired by that, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Clearly. Um anyway. Cool. Yeah, glad we I'm glad we covered that because I was really excited about that game. Yeah. Time is <clears throat> we play more Tuesday. Uh all right, speed run time. Eight minutes left in the show. The clock is ticking. Soul hackers two code. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Had people ask. Uh, it was about pretty it. cool. So Atlas actually sponsored a three hour week early look. Of Soul Hackers 2. Um, it, we were the first channel to show this to Western audiences. Very surprising move from Atlas, who normally does not do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty awesome. But Soul Hackers 2 is uh, an SMT world game. So uh, if for those that are familiar with, with SMT, Persona 5, that kind of stuff, it, it clearly is very heavily influenced. In fact, you'll notice like some of the Personas are in there as demons. Um, but yeah, it is it is a new char- new characters, new world new story, a uh, lot of familiarity from people that like that stuff, but it's it's very Persona-y, um, feels very similar That's in it. many ways, even through some of the progression mechanics and stuff like that. It's turn-based, JRPG at its at its best, a uh, lot of voice acting. I think, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be one of those total package type games. Um, unfortunately, it, it, for me, it felt almost like there was a lot of talking and there's a lot of stuff going on, but not a huge amount of it was very interesting. I felt like the pacing was a little weird. Like there were a few big story elements. I played it for three hours and there were a few big story elements that were kind of interesting, but nothing that really kept me like, like Persona has a lot of things that make you want want more. Like you get to a part where you're like, oh, what's happening next or what's going on or stuff like that. Right. I didn't really get a lot of that in this game. They kind of like set the scene up at the very beginning okay. and then it just kind of, went on like there wasn't a lot of <laughs> right. of carrot on a stick there wasn't there weren't a lot of like things happening it felt like um so oh no you don't need to play the first one to play this game but it's the kind of thing where i think that that many jrpg fans will get everything they want out of this game but i feel like people that are going to be coming from like persona 5 looking for like the next big awesome jrpg yeah i don't know if this is going to be it for them okay that's that's kind of what I gathered from. Uh, I think reviews were out for this this past week. That's seemed to be echoing a lot of what they said. They also said the combat it was, was fun. pretty simplistic. Uh, combat is pretty simplistic. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very much just uh, it's 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 like Persona, where it's kind of a game of find the weakness and then mm. exploit the weakness. Sure. Um, there's a few little you know interesting elements that add on to it, but uh, it was it was it was pretty basic combat. Yeah. 
and I was playing on hard too. So got it. Cool. I, I see that they that they wisely took a page out of games such as uh, <clears throat> like Near Automata and Bayonetta, and gave you something nice to look at as you're running around the world. <laughs> bike, sure. bike shorts and long legs, man. Hey, um, yeah, l- legs for days. Thumbs up, baby. I give it a thumbs up. There you go. Legs for days. There you go. Uh, I design. Cool. That's so ha- Soul Hackers two. That was pretty fast. Five minutes. Let's do five minutes on Poe. Maybe, and you, yeah. Look, okay. Uh, the currently like, <laughs> uh, so there's two things going on with Poe right now. For me, it's the first time that I've like really been playing a lot again, and Poe always has that. No matter what, it has that like, oh, this game's really addictive. Let's keep playing. Let's do. So I'm like back in that addictive phase. However, I didn't realize this. I thought the league seemed fine. In the world of Reddit. People fucking hate this game right now. Like people are yep. absolutely furious They're with Path of Exile. <laughs> they are just they think this game is dead. They they think that uh GZG is taken in the complete opposite direction of where they think it should go. Uh longtime players of the game are saying, like, yeah, POE's uh, like I'm gonna play Diablo 3 this week. They got a new season of Diablo 3. We're gonna go check that out. Uh the issue to sum it up as fast as possible. Uh, a couple leagues ago it was called the Arc Nemesis League. In the Arc Nemesis League, they made all the rare mobs in that game uh, in the game get new, um, basically new abilities for people that don't play. And so, in doing so, they made rare mobs harder than uh, the bosses of the story, uh, the bosses of the maps, and in general, just like we're gonna one shot you from across the screen type mobs, or you're gonna take. 30 seconds to kill one of us type mobs. Um, and they're just completely overtuned. And so Reddit is on fire because they haven't had this in a long time and they want the go fast style of gameplay instead of the, we're going to fight this one rare mob for, you know, 20 to 30 seconds type gameplay. That's kind of the, the gist of it. Um, there is some like pretty bullshit things in terms of just dying. I don't play hardcore. I think if I played hardcore, I would probably be a lot more aggressive towards these type of bombs. There's perfect examples of like, there's a, there's a clip granted. He has low HP and all that stuff. But one of the big clips going around right now is a guy's just walking along and out of nowhere, like an aura just appears on top of him and he dies just one shot dead, like just gone. And what happens is a mob has like 400% movement speed and he just appears on top of a guy and just one shots him immediately. There's no way to react to it. You just die from like across the screen. And so that's kind of where a lot of people are upset with uh, the game in terms of it's just the mobs are like so fucking hard and they haven't figured out the tuning of this new like Arc Nemesis mod system that uh, that changed all the rares. So a lot of people hate that direction. Uh, Honestly, let's be real though. I really feel that's a case of get better, get good. Right, like yeah. Well, like I, I said- mean, the clip he has like twenty six hundred HP and he's if he was like really paying maps. attention for I mean what's four hundred movement speed yeah four hundred percent he was movement really speed. paying attention <laughs> yeah come on man wait a minute wait a minute you don't like take your time and like go through these like no airplane? no I'm, kid- I'm I'm kidding <laughs> dude like I am joking you yeah. insulted him yeah yeah uh, I'm enjoying it I I. The build that I'm playing kind of started off rough. And I think the league mechanic, the other thing that a lot of people are upset about is the league mechanic is pretty simplistic and the loot rewards for the time invested are not necessarily there. So people are kind of skipping it. They changed a bunch of things. People aren't super thrilled about the harvest changes. Yes, there's, I was about to say, some of the past leagues that they kind of changed the mechanics to this league made them like, you don't even want to interact with them. And so through- It's a lot of change. Yeah. There's a league is a lot of change. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of change that people didn't necessarily want. Yes. But in some ways, GGG feels were necessary. Yes. Um, and maybe laying the foundation of future balances and changes of POE two as well, which is what people are worried about. It's a lot of change. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that people love change, so it's very strange. (laughs) There's this outrage. Yeah. Mm. It's an older reference, but I think it's still pretty pretty accurate. I just every time I hear something like that, I hear, I see Garth from uh, Wayne's World. He's like, 
we fear change. We don't like it. And he starts hammering that fucking thing on his desk. <laughs> yep. Yep. So it's POE. Uh, apart from all that, like, if you want to see how people are responding to it, I think the Reddit is a good place to start. Uh, a lot of it is yelling, etc. cetera. Uh, streamers, I think, seem to be enjoying it for the most part, though a lot of that might be because drops were turned on, so viewership was kind of cranked up this time around at the start of the league. Um, I think the really the best way to see how a league is, unfortunately, is wait a week, see what happens. Uh, P POE. And more importantly, let G a week usually lets GDG address some of the major issues. Yes. Like there's a very good chance that we're going to see the loot get jacked up in the new league yep. mechanic. And like they, they tend to put stuff out into the wild, see people react, and then kind of like address at least some of the major Somewhere. issues that are with it. So, yeah. 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 Don't think we've seen that yet, right? There hasn't been any patch or anything. No, they yet, haven't said so. anything. That's another thing that the community's kind of pissed off about. It's like yeah. they haven't said anything about anything. It's just the game is. The game exists. So uh, yeah. I'm enjoying it, though. I'll probably keep playing it over the, the next couple of weeks. It's, it, POE's grabbed my interest again. Just the type of mindset. So that is that. Uh, we're over. We'll see if we talk about we we'll see if we have a show next week. I, Co, Co might be at the beach. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If Maybe my not, connection's good it, enough, might do a show. First step is having yeah. a connection good enough. Second second is you know if I actually have time while I'm out there to do it. So it'll yeah. be it'll be. I'm, don't tiered. Here's unknown. the thing: if you go to the beach, don't fucking do a show. Enjoy the beach with your family. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the friend. I'll that definitely tells you. be at the beach. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, okay. Enjoy the okay. go to the go, I'll just, I'll just, just enjoy the fucking beach with your family. It's fucking right. okay. Hold on a second though. Hold on a second. If I may. If I may. Um. I was, uh, I hate personally, like now being told like how to enjoy things. Sure. Like if I'm out in the, out in the woods, like camping, which hasn't happened in years, but like I'll bring my, I'll bring my fucking switch along and I'll fucking play. And they're like, sure. What are you doing? Like I'm enjoying the woods how I want to enjoy the woods. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's different. So if you want to, to join us from the beach and that gives you, that gives you joy, do it. I appreciate that. The the if it was a normal show, I would take it off. But it's like the last show before JP's going on like his first vacation in like nine years. So you know, staycation vacation. I can run to a hotel room. Yeah, you know what I mean. We'll so see. I can you we'll know figure it, it out. I, I I'm I have no issues running to a hotel room for a few hours and hanging out. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. No pressure. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll let we'll you guys see. know on Twitter. Uh, and and yeah. I would think even if Co can't make it, I, we might just grab a guest. It's not that hard. We got a bunch of friends around the place. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Call up Strip and call it Max. Better Co. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let it's us do... What? You lack? What'd you say? I said, I'll do it on the beach. I'll just fire up my phone. Sure. Just do it on the beach. That'll be good. There we go. Can you put your category as, as hot tubs and beaches and stuff? We probably could. Oh, dude, I won't have a shirt on. I'll, I'll have my mankini with me. It's going to be It's gonna be good. Probably could. Dude, then we can. Then everybody can mm -hmm. see like your, your chest mural tat. Like, not a lot of people see True. that. Like, he has a. I spent a lot of money in Japan on that. I mean, I want to show it off more. <laughs> yeah, it's like Yakuza tat, like all the way. Like it cuts off right here. Like it's huge. Is it all just his back? All his front. I, my spirit animal's a hamster, so you know how like each of them have like their animals. Oh, Mine's just like mm -hmm. this really sick looking. Handy. I thought yeah. you went with the dragon with your face on it as your chest tattoo. No, you with the hamster. No, I just I decided to go with my my actual spirit animal for that one. That's cool. That's cool. Makes his cheeks are all stuffed with nuts. Yeah. I mean, you do love having let's let's go. Zig, do some shout outs. Uh let's wrap the show up. What do you got? I going love my on? almonds, JP. Yeah. Lo I love my almonds. Love those nuts in your mouth. <laughs> what did you do? There, uh, there it what's is. What's up, everybody? <laughs> my name is Ezekiel the Third. You can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore I I I on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, and Ezekiel the Third, all spelled out on uh, Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I broadcast usually every day except Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, tomorrow is my normal day off, but if you want to catch me, I uh, doing some tabletop role playing. Hundred Club on uh, Twitch.tv slash Table Story starts at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're, we're starting to get into it. It's like you know one of those role playing shows. You got to get used to the other characters, how you interact with them, and shit like that. So it's like I think this is the fourth episode. So. We're starting to roll. It's starting to get starting to get good. It's starting to have some some good RP back and forth. So if you want to check that out, that's tomorrow at 1 p.m. 
If you want to check me out streaming video games uh, Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific, I'm going back to Thym- Thymesia. Thymesia! Um, that Souls-like game we were talking about uh, that I'm going to continue on because it's fucking fun. To, like, I had a, having a blast playing it. So, awesome. uh, there you go. And uh, just remember, if you want to find me, I'm the Love Goblin on Pornhub. That's your name? Yeah. Co, what's your porn hub? Username? Love Goblin D's nuts. Woo! Oh, okay. All right. There it is. There See, it is. here's the. Uh, I. Okay, go ahead, Co. We don't got to discuss it. I. Uh, my name's Co. I. I don't know how I'm going to follow that. Um, tomorrow we are. Somebody said, Dan, you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I am currently playing through Farthest Frontier. I think we're going to start a new city tomorrow because that game is awesome. It's from the makers of Grim Dawn. It's basically banished if the Grim Dawn guys made it. It's awesome. I'm sad we didn't get to talk about it today because it's phenomenal. But we're going to be doing that tomorrow morning. Uh, PoE, I'm actually really enjoying my Lightning Conduit build. Going to be doing more PoE this evening, I think. Uh, we've okay. got Saints Row coming up and all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope to see you guys on the channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, like we talked about briefly on here, I'm going to be out of town probably for a couple to a few days early next week and then back. For all those games that are releasing soon. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'll uh, see you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Uh, what do we got going on? We kind of have a busy week. Uh, tomorrow we got MCU crew. We're we'll talking about She Hulk episode one with Jesse and Bronze. After that, more POE. Tuesday, we're re watching, or not re watching, we're watching the uh, Destiny thing that's happening. That's at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday. And then I'll be jumping into the Gamescom stream. That's at 2 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, and then probably checking out Final Fantasy, uh, the island stuff after that. Wednesday and Thursday, definitely some more PoE, unless something else grabs my uh, attention. And then next Friday and Saturday, we're watching Lord of the Rings on some watch parties. They put all the extended edition uh, out for watch party-ing. So we're going to watch the Hobbit trilogy Friday, and then Saturday, we're going to watch the entire Lord of the Rings original trilogy extended edition. It's like nine and a half hours, so... Woo! Checking all that out. Get those hours logged. Uh, Sunday, probably do a drop frame show. And then uh, next Wednesday, the 31st, will be Community Day, uh, where we play whatever the community wants me to play. And that'll be the final stream for me until sometime in September, because I'm taking a big break. I put up a video on YouTube. If you want to go see and watch why uh, I'm taking that break, feel free to go and check that out. That's it for drop frames. Thank you for watching. We'll be back probably next Sunday. Uh, for the final show of August, Co might be here or he might be on the beach. We might have a guest. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll let you guys we'll know. Follow twitter.com slash drop frames. You'll get all the latest and greatest information on what's going on with us. We'll get the VOD up later today if you missed any of that. For now, though, we're out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.